This is a remarkable occasion, a raw, remarkable, history-making event. You, by being here now, are part of this integral event. Thank you. My name is Happy Oasis, and I'm today's moderator and also the founder of the Raw Spirit Festival, the largest raw vegan eco music peace event, that's a mouthful, on the planet. And I am delighted to be here. It's a nutritious, delicious pleasure to introduce you to the stellar lineup. Before I do, I wish to let you know a little bit about these leaders because I know all of them. I've known them for years. They've spoken at Raw Spirit festivals. Many of them have been on the Raw Spirit radio and the Raw Spirit community news. And they are a stellar lineup that represent thousands of raw vegan activists and leaders across America and around the world. These friends not only walk the talk, but they also run it. They run so fast that I can barely keep up with them. In fact, being raw vegans, who here has experimented with raw vegan lifestyle? You probably know that you definitely receive more energy, and these friends are ecstatic embodiments of what is possible. It may happen to you when you go fully on a raw vegan diet. I'd like to do something a little bit different because of that. Instead of letting you know all about what they're up to myself, I'd love to invite each one of you to share with us what have been your most significant contributions to this vastly burgeoning raw vegan movement. Because I can barely keep up with myself. And as your moderator today, I definitely cannot keep up with all the fantastic offerings that these folks are giving to the world. Before we go into answering each question, I would like to hereby, with great pleasure, introduce you to each one, just their names, and a few of the audience would love to welcome them with an enthusiastic round of applause. I'm going to start with California's own Rod Rotundi. <laughs> Mimi Kirk. <laughs> Marcus Rothkrantz. <laughs> Dr. Elizabeth Lambert. And myself, now coming down also as a panelist. Starting with Rod, what have been your greatest contributions to the expanding raw vegan movement? Um, okay. Uh, what I do is I make food for people to eat. It's good, clean, pure food. It's organic. It's raw foods. I also do cooked vegan foods at my restaurant in Culver City. It's called Leaf Organics. And um, I've been doing this for quite a few years, since about... 2000, the year 2000. So I think my biggest contribution is feeding a lot of people really delicious, healthy food at an affordable price. That's what I like to do. Thank you. I think my biggest contribution is being a senior. I'm 74. <laughs> and I think that that's what made a lot of people be interested in raw food because we all want to age and feel great. We want to look great, but we really want to feel great. And it seems like I've been an inspiration to a lot of people who are worried that raw food will not be the right thing or what they're eating will not be the right thing. So I think my age has a lot to do with what my popularity. <laughs> <laughs> and your hotness. <laughs> I, <clears throat> I guess I'm about the same. I'm 50 and uh, I just want to show people that it's uh, not boring and that you can actually... Uh, have a pretty decent, fun, cool, sexy life, mm -hmm. and that uh, <laughs> all your problems go away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so along with everything that they've been saying, I'm, I'm 54, I shall be 54 in March, and what I'm really interested in is the expansion of the human potential. Um, I'm not interested in longevity because I don't really care to be here if it's not, like Marcus is saying, really fun, really sexy, and really juicy and delicious. Um, I love this concept of living foods because it literally nourishes the cells of our bodies. I'm an athlete, so I'm interested in um, proving 
that when you guys see me and I see you next year, that we are all younger, literally stronger, deeper, richer, wiser, more flexible, more radiant, more beautiful, sexier, more delicious and juicy in every single way. So that's what I'm up to in the world. And she's a living embodiment of that. Thank you. And a few of my largest contributions were founding the Raw Spirit Festival, which was one of the catalysts, kind of like an Expo West in its own way for the Raw Vegan Movement, the Raw Spirit Radio Show, the Raw Spirit Community News, now going on its 10th year. And one of my favorites, among others, is the founding of Let's Get Wild, <laughs> which is wild, edible, intuitive foraging hunts that we go on in more than a dozen countries, in more than a dozen ecosystems. Uh, we also put on retreats and, oh, it, it just goes on and on, potlucks, a lot of free events, etc. And the next question is, what inspired you to go raw vegan? And how has eating raw vegan organic foods improved your health? Uh, okay, I'm supposed to be going first here. So, <laughs> um, what inspired me was back in the early 90s, and I read a book called Raw Food Propaganda. I don't even think, it, I don't know if it's, no, know if it's in print any longer, but it was it David is. Wolf and his gang's first book, really. And it was just completely over the top and great. I loved it. And I guess th the main point that I got from that was that, you know, basically, we're all animals. And animals should be eating their food in its natural state from nature, which is not processed or heated or whatever, whatever. And so from that, I started, I, you know, it just got me going into it. And I started thinking and I started trying it. And when I tried it, I just had such an incredible, amazing effect on my life and how I felt with my energy that I realized that, that this was a really important key. And um, I decided that I would put together sort of my culinary and business backgrounds to try to bring healthy food to people. So that was my big inspiration back in the early 90s. I was really inspired by the fact that my family has cancer, two of my sisters, and I could see the path for myself. And then all of a sudden I go for a checkup and I find out my blood pressure's high and my cholesterol's high, and I'd gained about 22 pounds over the last couple of years at that point. The doctor handed me a prescription, and that inspired me to find something else. And what I did was get online, and raw food kept coming up. It was so annoying because I love to cook, and I thought, this is not going to be for me, carrots and celery stick. I had no idea anything about raw food. But I thought I would try it for a little while. And I started out with a detox, just drinking juices and having salads, no fats or oils for a week. At the end of the week, I swear I felt like 10 years younger. I thought my teeth were whiter, my eyes were brighter. And within six months, I was back at the doctor's. Everything was normal. I never had another arthritic pain, and I haven't in the last five years. My blood pressure and cholesterol. So that was my inspiration, is to start taking care, better care of myself. Now, what inspired me to go raw vegan is I was dying. Uh, by the time I was 27, my heart was giving out. My liver, kidneys, eyes, everything was just shot. And uh, I never drank. I never smoked to this day. I haven't even touched a drop of alcohol or, or, or coffee. And I didn't know why I was dying. I was bleeding when I went to the bathroom. My glass was thicker than the, uh, my finger. And I, I said, I, I didn't know. I tried vegetarian. It didn't do anything. I tried vegan. That wasn't, didn't do much either. Um, and then I realized after I went out to the desert and basically said, that's it. I, I don't really care anymore. I just gave, took my clothes off, went out to the desert, had my 40 days. I realized, you know what? We're not living like nature. And um, all the other life forms, they don't have the problems we have unless they're fed by man or eat garbage left over by man. So I started living that way, just eating stuff the way it was found in nature. I didn't cook. I didn't have any energy left. I didn't care about cooking. I just just ate, ate a weed or something, you know? And, and it was amazing how within seconds in, of, of my life, everything just changed. And uh, you do get younger and your problems do go away. And I don't need glasses anymore. I don't have any problems anymore. It's amazing. So uh, most people I don't think get into this unless they're forced to, either for health or vanity reasons. Everybody wants to eat donuts and pizza because it's good, right? I mean, 
unless you actually have a health problem or, or you want to get rid of wrinkles or lose your fat or something because you want to be liked again. Uh, I, th I think that's kind of why people do this, and I was one of those people who were forced. I was either going to live or die. Um, so that's, that's what did it for me, and it, it, it works. It really works. So for me, I come from an Italian background, and I, um, unlike most people who find raw food, like Marcus was saying, because they were in a state of disease, I was always just really interested in this concept, ever since I was a little kid, of how food could nourish us. And when I would, you know, I remember sitting at the dinner table, and I was eight, and lasagna was like the appetizer. There was like pastas and managotas. I mean, it's just like all of this food. And I was like, why are we feeding us this food that's not nourishing us? It's like afterwards I felt lethargic. I didn't feel energetic. I didn't feel alive. I didn't feel good. It wasn't nourishing me. So I set on a quest to discover what would nourish me. And what's interesting about my background is I'm an athlete. So I really had a hard time, and I know maybe some of you feel like this now um, or did before, I had a hard time with giving up the um, protein sources. I could eat the living foods and all of that, but for me it was this concept of how am I going to be able to get my protein so I can go to the gym and work out and dance and do all the things that I do physically. And I did a fast. And after that, my, literally my, my third eye, my pineal gland, popped wide open. And the, the birdies and the chickens and everything, I had given up beef a long time ago, but um, I couldn't eat them because they were talking to me, literally communicating with me and saying, please don't eat me anymore. And I was like, I'm going to have to have something else. And so why I did it is because it um, has given me way more energy, uh, way more enthusiasm for life, um, way more clairvoyance, um, and all the other, like Marcus was saying, you, you, you literally get younger, uh, your skin glows, and you're more radiant and more enthusiastic about everything about life. So. Beautiful. Thank you all. The question is, what inspired you to go raw vegan and how did it improve your health?